This video is sponsored by Magellan TV. In August 1960, a U.S. Navy pilot took off from Naples, Italy, and climbed to about 5,000 feet. It was a routine operation, nothing unusual for the day. When he leveled off, he found he needed an unusual amount of pressure on the stick. It was strange. The F-8 Crusader he was controlling felt a lot heavier than expected. It was also unresponsive. Something was definitely off. At first, he cursed the crew in maintenance. They'd surely missed something. Looking around for the cause, he analyzed the control panel. Maybe a switch was off, but everything seemed okay. That was until he glanced outside the cockpit window. For a second, his entire body felt a shock that ran down his spine. He was flying, but the Crusader's wings folded up. Keeping his head cool, he managed to dump fuel to make the aircraft lighter. After 20 minutes of dangerous flying, the pilot made it back to base unharmed. When the engineers at Vought heard the story, they were both pleased and perplexed to hear that their aircraft could fly with the wings folded. The F-8 Crusader was a modern marble packed with raw power. Learn more about some of the most powerful military technology in history with the Magellan TV series Combat Machines. From tanks to jets to nuclear arms, these were the machines that changed the face of warfare. Check it out today and visit try.magellantv.com slash dark footage or click the link in the description below to get a free one month trial of Magellan TV. Magellan TV is also offering a buy one get one free annual gift card and purchasing a gift card any time of the year will also give you an additional month of Magellan TV for free even if you're already a member. Now is the perfect time to share Magellan TV with your friends and family. Visit try.magellantv.com slash dark footage today and click on the banner to take advantage of this limited time offer for dark footage viewers. To save space aboard decks of U.S. carriers, aircraft production companies began building special planes designed for carrier operations. Most had configurations that let their wings be folded up and out of the way. This change was made to make room and save space for additional assets on the ship. If more aircraft could be loaded for combat operations, a carrier's fighting and defensive capabilities could be increased. Such was the case of legendary American fighters such as the F-4 Phantom, F-8 Crusader, and F-14 Tomcat all veteran aircraft from the Cold War era. However, before taking off for the skies, pilots had to ensure that their wings were unfolded before reaching the skies, as they could not do so mid-flight. To take off with the wings not fully extended was perilous. The pilot's safety and the entire aircraft could be compromised. The plane could stall, fall abruptly, and damage the carrier. Or even worse, if carrying an explosive payload, they could sink their own ship. Yet more than a dozen times, F-8 Crusader fighters took off with their wings unfolded. Most of the occasions when this happened were at night, when visibility is significantly limited before and during flight. Thankfully, they all were able to land successfully, out of harm's way, thanks to the Crusader's strength and excellent engineering design. One folded wing incident happened on January 22, 1968, when pilots of the Navy Fighter Squadron VF-53 were preparing for a deployment to Vietnam aboard the USS Bonhomme Richard. As a final part of the pre-flight regimen, all pilots were briefed to fly field mirror landing practice, known as FMLPs or bounces. In the exercise, they would fly to about 2,100 feet before landing and taking off without stopping. After a discussion with the officer of the day, one of the pilots was ordered to perform the five FMLPs again. Urged to finish the additional practice quickly, the pilot raced his aircraft directly to the takeoff area without completing all of his checks. In the surrounding darkness, he could not see a thing. As the Crusader began flying, he tried to locate the takeoff checklist as the plane buffeted in the sky. The absence of light due to a malfunction prevented him from reviewing his flight manual to diagnose the problem. After several maneuvers, 
the pilot began losing control of the aircraft. He radioed tower control, quote, Miramar Tower, this is NJ-207. I have some serious control problems. I may have to get out. The reply from tower puzzled him when he heard, quote, Roger, NJ-207, your wings are still folded. The pilot glanced outside the Crusader to see the wingtip position light sticking straight up into the air. They must have folded during the takeoff roll. In his desperation, the pilot remembered a flying safety article describing another pilot's similar error. This pilot, like him, had taken off with the wings folded. The article's bottom line was not to mess with the wings. It also explicitly warned not to try to fold them down during flight. After obeying Tower's instructions meticulously, he made it back to safety, landing with no significant problems on the runway. He flew the Crusader with the wings folded for seven uninterrupted minutes. The only damage was that the wing fold was bent and the wing fold mechanism was broken. The F-4 and F-8 had their fair share of taking off with their wings folded. The future F-14 prototype was created intentionally with a configuration that could let it fly with the aft forward swept wing at up to 60 degrees. These trials were conducted after four fleet aircraft found themselves in the same challenging situation. 